All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. But first, what's up, all of my gym stars? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Y'all seen Beast Mode in active, activated last night? That's why I'm wearing my shirt. Beast Mode activated. Y'all want me to put it in the shop? I'm going to put it in the shop. With every single thing, y'all know I do all my own merch. I do all this stuff myself, man. But hey, a lot to talk about, a little bit of time to talk about it with all of these topics run together. Can't promise you 12 minutes, not even gonna try, man. But what I can promise you is we got some quality females out here today. So I need y'all's opinion. Who we going with? Harley Dean or Skin Diamond? Damn it, I say Harley Dean or Skin Diamond. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you're going with both of them, B-O-F-F-U-M. That's what I want y'all to put down there in the comments, who you're going with. Now, on yesterday, as we, as, as unless you've been on the rock and you don't watch a lot of YouTube videos and all of that stuff, I used to be that guy, so don't even get mad at it. I, I, I used to not watch no 2K videos, no 2K YouTubers, none of that stuff, but now I have to be... You know, I gotta be in the action. I gotta be on the scene. I have to know what's going on because I kind of do a weak ass news show that gets no views where I uh, cover the 2K community. And it's all good, I'm good with my place. But uh, look here, the thing is, Pretty Boy Fredo put up a video prophesizing or, or, or you know, just talking about how he might come back to the 2K community. Do I think he is? I don't see why he would. He's way bigger than, he, he, he's beyond all that all, all that now. And um, it's just, I, I don't think, I mean, unless he just likes playing the game and he wants to start a second channel, which he doesn't need to or any of that stuff right there, he can, he can play the game without without um, having the channel or whatever. But maybe he just wants to turn up and, and turn back and throw back to those old times and stuff like that. I don't know. I can't claim to know. But uh, he put out this video yesterday talking about why he initially left the 2k community and he said he felt like the 2k community brought out the toxicity in him i'm gonna let y'all listen to the video here real quick man uh this is just an excerpt uh we had duke dennis because duke made a, a made a statement about it we're gonna listen to what fredo said and then uh we're gonna listen to what duke has to say so <laughs> i'm so lame it ain't even funny and i know what you guys thinking like you can play a video game and not curse out people and do all of that stuff. Yeah, you can, but it was almost like the community kind of, it's like, it, it's, it's so toxic that it almost like, it, it just brings it out of you. Like, it'll just happen. And I know what you right. guys think. So he's just talking about how the community was so toxic where it would bring it out of you, bring it out of him anyway. He's speaking about himself individually. That's what he's talking about. He's not talking about everybody. He's not talking about, he's just saying he's going with his experience. Now, what we're going to do, let's let's listen to what Duke uh, has to say about that. Because he said, I call, Duke actually put in here, Cap, just because the community is toxic doesn't mean it brings it out of you. Nah, Duke, it means it doesn't bring it out of you. But that you can't speak for the next man. That's one of my pet peeves in life when people try to speak about other people or how you should feel about a situation. It don't matter who you are. You can't tell somebody how to feel or how they should feel or anything like that. This man is just telling you how he feels or how he felt. And you're telling him that he shouldn't feel that way or he can't feel that way. Like that's, that don't that don't go together. But uh, let's, let's see what you got to say. We're gonna keep on. What's good with y'all, all right? Uh, real quick, I wanna, I wanna say something, all right? I seen a tweet this morning and I quoted it. And the tweet was, uh, the 2K community it is so toxic that it brings out the toxic in people. And um, I've seen a lot of people actually agreeing with it and I want to, and I call cap on it. And I'm gonna give y'all uh, the reason why, all right? Let's say I had a son, okay? I do not have one, but let's say I do have a- All right, so on matters of speaking about children and stuff like that, there's an unspoken code in the community of people that have children and people that don't. If you don't have children, you should stop right there. You can't. You can't really talk about having children if you don't have children. Because I can tell you one thing, when my child was born, my whole, when, when I knew I was having a child, my whole life changed. And I was just like, I was a completely different person. And I went from a person that was happy-go-lucky and easy going to as soon as I knew I was having a, a child, I went to, went from just a, you know, whatever to, if you say the wrong thing to that woman right there, or if you say the wrong thing to that little boy right there, 
it, it, can, it can be bad for you really quickly. So this is one of those things, like you can't really talk about having children if you don't have them or whatever. I understand the context, but this is just one of those things sure. where... And me it's being area, I where I am, where there's 800K, 100K, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and above a million subscribers. Me being a public figure, there will be, there's going to be people, bro, sick, nasty, disgusting individuals that's going to say sick, nasty, and disgusting shit about me and my loved ones, all right? Uh, they might say that they hope something terrible happened to my son. They might say that they hope my mama get hit in the shin with a scooter or whatever the case may be. But me as a grown ass man at the end of the day, I got to know the intentions behind others. You know what I'm saying? I know that little 11 year old Bobby uh, won't, won't so badly for me to rage and snout and yell right back at him because he just said the most evil shit about my family. You know what I'm saying? But true. me, I got to think smarter. I got to rise above shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? I got to rise above shit like that. And it's all about self-control, you know what I'm saying? And knowing your worth. Bruh, if you actually fall into some, into the shit that people feeding you, bruh, it's going to kill you every time, you know what I'm saying? So I call cap on it. Just because somebody is toxic to you, that don't mean you got to be toxic right back, bruh. All right? Uh, it's all about having a strong mindset. I know Lil Bobby really want me to respond to him right now, but I'm not even going to give him that chance. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, I call cap on it. And it is what it is. All right, now, this is what he said. He called. Now, he knows that, that that's what the person wants, and you know that you got to be smarter than that, you got to be stronger than that, you got to be this, this, and that. But the thing is... Not everybody is you. All right, so let me let me give y'all some context and then we're going to go back to Fredo. All right, look, I never drank alcohol. I've never smoked weed. I've never ingested any drug that wasn't prescribed for me, to me, or whatever. Because I saw the beast that it brings out firsthand in my family from everything from... from I grew up in the 80s. So if y'all 80s babies like me and all of that stuff, you seen what crack does. You seen what what um what alcohol addiction does. You seen all of this stuff. You seen the beast that it brings out of people. So I look at it a different way. I look at it like now everybody don't don't turn into that beast when they when they have alcohol or whatever. Some people just get goofy, some people get fun loving, some people just have fun. They turn up, it is what it is. But some people turn into that beast. And if you grew up in a home where that beast was at, fortunately I didn't you know what that beast can do. And I had cousins that grew up in it. I had I had loved ones that grew up in it. it and, and, and it's just like, it's crazy, right? Using that to say this, everything impacts everybody differently. Some people, like me, I won't drink at all because I know that's in my family and I know that I might turn into that beast and I don't want to be that. So Fredo is saying the same thing. I know the beast that I become Ain't that a good segue? Like, alcohol don't do the same thing to everybody. Alcohol don't. I got my homeboys. We play League of Legends and do that stuff all night. Speaking of League of Legends, that's the most toxic community ever. You ain't never been locked in a game with a five-year-old that got to go to dinner and hate your guts, and you ain't even done nothing to him. You in, bro you in your gold your goal promotionals. You in silver five, I mean, silver one. You got to win one game to get out. Just say, guys, play hard so I can get out of here. And then that five-year-old just says, you know what? Screw you. I don't like your username. I'm going to sell this game. When you get sold on 2K, it's five minutes. When you get sold on League, you waiting an hour to lose my guy. Like, hey, y'all ain't never been through that. Uh, so I understand what he's saying. Just because somebody's toxic don't mean you have to be toxic back. But that doesn't mean that you won't. Because like I said, when people start talking, bro, it was videos out there. I hit Fredo's girl. I hit Jasmine and got her pregnant. People would be on stream, be like, Jasmine would be right there beside Fredo. People would donate hundred dollars just to say, just to say, I hit Jasmine, or I did this, or I did that, or I hope your baby dies. I hope she have a miscarriage and all types of stuff. Bro, you ain't seen this. Ooh. Like, like, like I can't speak on something that I never have experienced, right? So I've never been up there. I probably would never will be up there, so I'll never get the amount of trolls that they get. 
So if you got Duke that says that he can he can not care about the trolls, right? And then you got Fredo that says, I can't deal with the trolls. So like, look, going back to the beast, right? The beast of being drunk. Like I said, I can't really speak on alcoholism or anything like that because I've never drank. I've never become the beast. But I've seen the beast and I've seen what the beast can do. All right? So because I've seen the beast and I've seen what the beast can do, I know that's something I don't want no parts of. I don't want to be in that situation and I will remove myself from that situation. So what Fredo is essentially doing is this. He's saying that 2K was his drug. He became a beast when he, when he played 2K. He did not like the person that he became when he played the game. So he removed himself from the situation. I can't condemn a man for that. Only thing I can do is commend him for saying, for identifying his problem, identifying something that was holding, that he felt like was holding him back and removing himself from the situation. And like I said, the perfect, the perfect thing to talk about is alcohol and drugs. Not everybody overdoses, not everybody is addicted, not everybody turns into the beast when they have alcohol or drugs, but some people are. So I can't say, well, you shouldn't be that, you should be able to hold your liquor. But if a man say, I cannot hold my liquor, so because I can't hold my liquor, I'm just not going to drink. How can I look down on him? I'm not saying that Duke is looking down on him, but I'm saying that how could I get mad at that man for that, for identifying what his drug is and then just straight up removing himself from the situation? Damn, we 11 minutes in already? That's crazy. But I, I can't get mad at that because it's just like, just because you don't have the problem doesn't mean that nobody else is experiencing the problem. Just like Duke say that he feel like 2K, this 2K isn't that good. I feel like this is one of the best 2Ks ever. Opinions can differ. That's why they make different people because we have different thoughts and different things and all of that. Everybody entitled to their opinion. Fredo can feel like he won't, Duke can feel like he won't. But just like Duke can feel like he won't, Fredo a grown ass man too, so he can feel like he won't. It's one of the benefits of being grown. We can do what the fuck we want to and nobody can say anything about it. You can say something about it, but you ain't gonna do shit. You see what I'm saying? Those are the benefits of being grown. So, like I said, I understand the sentiment and where Duke is coming from. I don't know if, if, if a lot of this stuff was born from Fredo's, um, you know, he came up, one of the people, he was one of the people in the beginning that, you know, he did videos and he did the exposed videos, beating people in the community. And then his followers started doing that to him. Like that's all they wanted to do was expose Fredo, bro. And, and it was one time in 2K16, it was like 10, 20 videos a day, Fredo got exposed. People dropping mixtapes and all types of stuff. Like I said, the level of hate that he was getting, he was getting a lot of love, but the level of hate that he was getting, it was it was, it was was crazy, man. A lot of people might say he brought it on himself. If you get money, you shouldn't really worry about that. But not everybody is that strong. And like like I said, like like even Duke says himself, it's hard AF to ignore the most disgusting comments that people over the internet will throw. But if you let it get to you, then you're giving them exactly what they want your attention and that's true and like nine times out of ten if you say something crazy to me i'm just going to delete your comment or whatever but if you catch me on the right day you will get a five page paper with parenthetical citations of me telling you about yourself it just depends on what day what day of the week it is and how you feel even one of your followers says if i was twitter famous i couldn't help but troll them i'm not strong enough not to you understand what i'm saying this is somebody that admits I'm not strong enough to just ignore everything. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish I was. I wish I had this level of zen that Duke has where he don't have to, he don't worry about nothing, don't never respond to nothing, never does none of that. I wish that I had that. But the last part that we are gonna talk about this is what Duke was saying. Letting anger build up is dangerous AF. This is something that he tweeted back on December 20th before the video even came out, right? In Fredo's video, he actually talks about he would feel like he had so much pent up anger because people would say things and he couldn't do anything about it. Like he probably grew up, like all of us grew up different. So that's why I say I can't never tell somebody how to react to something. We all grew up differently. So if Fredo is saying that if you say something about me, then he might be one of them people, if you say something about him, he gonna say something back or he feel like he need to do something. And if he can't do it, then it pisses him off. To me, I can just delete your comment. While we going back and forth, I feel some type of way when I delete your comment and, and just block you because you're not, you're no longer clever and you no longer entertain me, then you just gone. It just is what it is. But like I said, different strokes, different folks. I'm glad that we got somebody like Duke that nothing never makes him mad, nothing never gets him gets to him, and nothing ever bothers him because we need more people like that in the community. But I'm also not mad at Fredo for saying, 
I don't have that level of self-control, so I'm not going to put myself in the situation at all to be set off. You can't never get mad at nobody for that. Y'all let me know who y'all think. Yes, we shouldn't let things get to us, but they do. It depends on, you might be having a bad day, you might have just called your mom, your dad, somebody had a bad phone call, and then somebody that don't even know you at all say something, and then like, I'm, I'm, I'm just never gonna be like, I don't see another person's point of view, because I totally see both points of view, and neither one of them is wrong. You see what I'm saying? Two things can be correct. You should be able to rise above it, but if you're having a day where you can't rise above it, then I'm not mad at you either. On to the next story, man. My guy Zar, speaking of, of, of all this stuff, mental health and all this, my guy Zar was talking about, he was talking about why the devs don't respond. If you go to his Twitter, you'll be able to see it. He wrote a veritable book on the, uh, on the topic. He's just talking about all of the stuff that happens in 2K. They want to respond. They want to talk to, back to people. They want to, but people just saying, you ass or you dumb or y'all need to be fired and all that good stuff, that takes a toll on mental health. And as a whole, the 2K devs, they choose to just ignore everybody in, in certain regards because you're not going to sit here and, like I said, we grown men too. You're not going to sit here and talk about me and then think I'm just supposed to answer your question politely. So because I feel like I may be incapable of doing that, they just don't respond. But if you ask a good question, he will respond, and he will respond with all these lines. Well, he had more lines than an 80s office party in here if you get what I'm talking about. Bye! He was responding, but he was responding to them good questions. But Zar, pretty much what he was saying is, you ask a good question, I'll give you a good answer. But it's hard to, it's hard because, uh, because you have to worry about your mental health. You can't be sitting here reading through 900 lines of I hate your guts, blah, blah, blah. And then, you see what I'm saying? And then, then try to give a good answer to somebody or just find the one good question. And like I said in my channel the other week, I have that same problem. The, 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 the many people that support me should not suffer at the hands of the people of the two or three people that are going to be dickheads down in the comments but that's what i was letting happen so now i'm just ignoring the bad comments i'm trying to respond to all the all the supportive ones because your haters are really your biggest supporters anyway man so you know it is what it is anyway on to the next video 2k lab did videos on giant slayer as well um as giant slayer they talk about the effectiveness of of, of it and then they also did a video on Dead Eye and its effectiveness. Go over to the channel, check it out, see how it goes, see what y'all think, man. And, uh, you know, go from there, man, like I said. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Like I said, neither one is right, definitively. But how do you handle stuff like that? I'm a person, if you say something to me, nine times out of 10, you can get away with it depending on the situation. But, hey, you might catch me on the right day and you'll be like the kid in the gym that that wanted to bump me the wrong way and then he ended up getting getting put in the choco i ain't choking i ain't squeezing him man i just grabbed him real quick i was on his ass so fast to let him know everybody not gonna just let you you know have your way so so you know what i'm talking about i'm not gonna i'm not speaking for the whole world but just like shannon sharp said i break you of the habit of trying me real quick but it is what it is. Or do you just feel like you should just ignore it and go on? Or you like from my camp, some days I'm ignored and some days I'm not gonna ignore it. And depending on the subject matter, it may not get ignored. But if you got kids, you know that's the quickest way to trigger somebody. And like if somebody say, hey, I hit your girl, that's one thing. But they knew his his girl's name and his baby's name and they putting the name in the stuff. That hit different, man. I don't care what nobody say. Duke, you capping. Yeah, that's cap. That's cap. Nah, I'm, I'm just saying. I can't tell you how you feel, but if the situation was different, I don't know that you would feel the same way. You probably would, I hope you would, because that's what you say, but like I said, I don't know, man. Anyway, Harley Dean, Skin Diamond. Harley Dean or Skin Diamond. Y'all let me know who y'all think down in the comments. I'm nobody, I'm just a channel that don't get no views and none of that stuff right there, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm clout chasing by covering the situation, I guess. That's what all everybody gonna say, man, so I'm disarming y'all first. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Got speed. Like I said, ain't nobody wrong in this situation, man. But you you can't tell somebody how to feel or how they feel about a situation. That's all. And and that person is not wrong for feeling that way. The right and wrong comes into effect when we talk about your actions. You understand, like how you react. But removing yourself from the situation. That's, that's never a bad thing. I wish we had more people that could admit their problems and remove themselves and maybe the suicide rate and stuff like that would be less. But I'm out. Peace.